and welcome to your gold market bet charts of the day as we enter the back end of the Asian session. It's the 23rd of May 2023. Mike Smith, senior analyst at gold markets here. Let's look at the news. Of course, overnight we had a mixed session on Wall Street as hopes of the debt ceiling progress prevailed. Talks are ongoing. The Dow was slightly down. Tech outperformed again with the Nasdaq being the highest performing index around about a half percent to the upside. So major indices are close to the top of the range, particularly the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq. The US futures are trading positively so far in the Asian session. Asian markets are slightly to the upside in the morning session. The ASX is up around 0.2%, but struggling to hold early gains. The Chinese market is a little shy at this stage. European futures are pointing to a mildly higher open. The VIX is looking to retest 18-month lows as we get a little bit of softness in the VIX futures contract. US dollar index is fairly near neutral today. It is slightly higher today in the Asian session. Gold slightly lower overnight. It's neutral today so far. Likewise with copper and oil, which are both at critical levels. Bitcoin also holds support over that 26,000 level. We've just dropped that a little bit from 27,000. There's been quite a lot of price action between 26 and 27 over the last few days. So we think a drop through 26 would precipitate some more selling. Australian Japanese PMI is already out and both have beaten expectations during the Asian session. PMI numbers are due out of Europe, UK and US later and US GDP and PCE data are this week's highlights which are due later in the week. And of course, debt ceiling negotiations will remain a major story until there's some resolution on that. Just a couple of charts that caught our eye today. Uh, first of all, we're looking at Zip ASX. This is a chart of the day a couple of days ago. And you can see there we've had a really big up move today in excess of 10%. And Zip looks to have significant buying pressure coming in. You can already see the trading volume today is significantly higher. We've got a divergence of the short term moving averages. And this looks as though it might go up and test 70 cents in the short term. In the FX world, things are pretty flat. It looked as though the yen was weak early on, but seems to have regained uh, a little strength through the session. So the US yen, we're looking at 139 as a key level with a potential 40 pip move to the upside. If we just pop it on the daily chart for context, you can see how important this level is that we're trading at near now. And that 139 has been resistance uh, back here in December as well as getting pretty close to it at the beginning of March. So keep an eye on that round number of 139 as a potential level at which we may see some significant buying if it breaches. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.